Hi there, welcome back to another video. My name is Monica of Millie and Monica, and I'm a full-time clothing reseller on both Poshmark and eBay. Today I have a very large Goodwill outlet thrift haul for you. So the Goodwill outlet is literally kind of like the last stop before the landfill for these items. If you are unfamiliar, they are also referred to often as the bins because there's large big blue bins that you literally dig through to find items. And so if you are at all interested in reseller related content, selling clothing online, and of course making money online, please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and of course hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, so let's talk about kind of this whole situation that is beside me. Um, oftentimes I like to share with you you know, kind of the stats on it. So I purchased 76 pounds at $1.19 a pound. And so I paid just under $90 for all of it at $89.85, which is an incredible deal because I kid you not, this is by far the best bins haul that I have ever done. Uh, I am still kind of reeling and overwhelmed by the sheer amount of amazing items that were found. Now, when they say early bird gets the worm, truly, <laughs> that's the case. Because I don't think I've ever actually been to the bins at opening. Like, I was in the parking lot. I saw the line. I waited for the line to move. Everyone got inside. Then I went in. So, literally, I walked in as everyone else was kind of walking in the doors. And this stuff is the best the best of the best that I've ever found. And I'm pretty sure it was just because I was there early and was getting there with fresh bins. And most all of this stuff is from the first four bins that I went through. Uh, and I also want to say and mention, because in my last bins video, I didn't talk about the fact that there are new rules and regulations in place. I do live in the Minneapolis, St. Paul metro area. There are three bins locations in my area. I've gone to two. They both run differently, but they still have new rules and regulations that they are requiring shoppers to follow. There are, you know, masks obviously are required. Uh, there are arrows on the floor, one person per bin or one grouping per bin. So if you go in with a friend, which at this particular location in time I was with a friend so her and I were able to look through a one bin together but if you were by yourself it was just one person per bin you do have to follow the arrows uh, because it was such a busy day and such a busy time right away in the morning they were requiring us to move when they honked the horn and which was like every I think probably three to five minutes I don't even know I wasn't timing it but it felt pretty quick and once you got through a rotation, like once you got through all the bins, you did have to check out, leave, and if you wanted to come back, you had to wait to get in because they were only allowing so many shoppers in at once. So those were the new regulations. How do I feel about it? I think it's fine. I think as long as they're open, I am going to follow the rules. I am going to do what I need to do to get inventory. And honestly, I kind of like it. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't like the masks. The masks are awful. I hate wearing a mask but I understand and I'll do it. But as far as like one person per bin and following, you know, the rest of the rules, I'm fine with it. Like I think honestly, I have found really good stuff. And I think a part of it is just because you're not pushing and shoving with so many people in the same bin. So I don't mind it. And honestly, like I said, as long as they're open, as long as they can keep their doors open, as long as they can run their business, I'm going to be there to hopefully support them as much as I can. So I don't care about that and the regulations. I know other people have other feelings and, you know, it just is what it is. And yeah, so let's move on. As I said, as I mentioned in the beginning, this is like the best of the best that I've ever found at the bins. Not to say there are still not items that don't have some flaws. Um, there's items that I have pulled. There's a few items I've pulled for consignment that I'll take in at some point. And there are some items that need to be still stain treated and I'm still working on washing and cleaning up some items, but for the most part, this stuff is just really amazing. And there's definitely some stuff that I've never found before. I'm going to start pretty basic because I do kind of have a mountain here with um, some of the more just kind of basic pieces that I would normally pick up, but this is a pair of Gap jeans. They are a wide leg. They have kind of this bleached, distressed bottom raw hem. Uh, they are a high rise, size 28. And... 
they're just a really cute trendy denim pant so that was definitely a win I would never leave that behind I think Carrie actually gave that to me so my friend Carrie on Monroe Street was with me so this is a pair of J Crew factory pajama pants size small definitely think they could fit a size medium uh, they're just a straight leg basic pajama pant with this really fun sheet print and yes I am going to go pretty quickly through a lot of this stuff because there is so much this is a pair of torrid skinny jeans they are more of a cropped ankle mid-rise fit there are 12 regular. Today feels like a very fallish day. It's been rainy and kind of cold. Uh, so I feel like this top was appropriate. It is a vintage top. This is a pair of Paxson mom jeans. I think that, yeah, they're actually called the mom jean. They're size 26. They're distressed, kind of a tapered leg and cropped ankle fit. So I definitely picked up some shoes. I didn't put all the shoes in here to show you because a lot of them are very similar actually and I'll talk about that more as I move into the shoes. This is a pair of Teva sandals. I guess they are a little turtle print design. They're tag size USA 5, UK 4, but I do think they could fit a size 6 as well just because they're a little kind of oversized. I can fit my size seven foot into them but they're just so they're like too snug so I definitely think they could fit a six as well but they're in really really good condition the bottoms look great and they're not dirty like the the actual print themselves is not dirty so that was a fun find usually I don't find a lot of shoes at this location but because again because it was there in the morning a lot of the bins hadn't been rifled through yet so it, if there was a pair of shoes in the bin it seemed like if you dug enough you could find the actual mate so that was really exciting this is a pair of naturalizer boots and they are a brown leather and suede so they are a wider calf it actually says in here like wide shaft they have the inside zipper they are a size eight and a half now a lot of the shoes are size eight and a half that i picked up and i believe they maybe came from probably the same person because there are a lot of these comfort style shoes so comfortable, um, kind of mid range shoes. They have the lace up back detail there. Um, what I wanted to say about boots though, is I've actually sold probably four or five pairs of taller boots in this past week. So I think even though it's the beginning of August, I think people are starting to look for boots. And I also wanted to mention, if you're interested in anything you see, I have listed several items, but I'm still working through a lot of this because there is so much. If you're interested in anything, you can definitely leave me a comment down below. Try to describe the item uh, because oftentimes there's similar like items and leave your Poshmark username and I can tag you in the listing. I do list everything on Poshmark first, then I cross list to eBay using Vendu. And if you're interested in Vendu, I do have a video on that, which I'll link below uh, because I love using Vendu. It's definitely a time saver for me. Now, this next pair of boots is probably... Oh, I think I had the biggest adrenaline rush out of everything. I found some great stuff in here, but this pair of boots, I found one and I was in a mad rush to find the other. And it's a pair of Doc Martens. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I love a pair of Doc Martens. I think I got a pair in a thread up box once and I just about lost my mind. So this was such a thrill to find because I did find both of them. And this just the style, it, it's almost kind of rare because when I search it on Poshmark, most of the taller boots are lace up and this pair is just you know has the side zipper they're kind of that combat style uh, tall boot they are tagged a size four now i think this is probably a little bit older pair or because they don't have any of their us sizing it's just size four now if you look at a doc martin size chart uh, doc martin's four is typically a us six which I believe is true for this pair. If you are a size six, these should fit you. I can fit my size seven foot into these. It's not comfortable, but that is why I truly believe they're a size six because um, I can fit my foot into it. If they were a regular size four, I would definitely not fit my foot in. So that's what I'm going with. They're in really good overall condition. Love these so much and definitely already got a lot of interest. I listed them last night and there's already several likes. There's some watches on eBay already. 
so that was my first like one of the big thrills of this haul. Here's a pair of Donald J. Kleiner wedge heels. They are kind of a little bit worn, but overall really good condition. They're a size six and a half. Yes, six and a half. And this is one of my favorites. These were my size. I would keep these BOC and they're a size 10, just a canvas espadrille. They kind of have that clog look to them. Super cute. The great comfort style heel. Now there's, here's more of the born. This is just a flat kind of Oxford style shoe and the mate. And now there is another one of these. I did pick this up because of the squareness of the toe. It is like a 90s style heel and they are size eight and a half leather bottom, but mostly I picked them up because they're in really good condition. There wasn't any like major scuffing up here in the fabric and because of the square toe, which is super popular right now. And the last pair of shoes I do, no, there's one more pair. One of the last pairs of shoes is this born again. Uh, I believe they're size eight and a half. Yes. And they're kind of a gray brown color with the fringe kilty detail tassels and the Oxford style. So love these as well. Again, very similar styles. And the last pair of shoes, another great win is this pair of Uggs. Now for a pair of Uggs, in my opinion, they have very light wear. Most of the wear is actually here on the back, but overall great condition. So I haven't looked up the style name of these yet, but they are the style. So they have these buttons here that, that you can roll them over and you can wear them a couple different ways. So then they have the buttons here as well. If you know the style name of these, you can definitely leave it down below, but they do have their tag here, which I believe I can look up the style name with this info, but just really overall a good condition for a pair of Uggs at the bins. So definitely take those. Now let's move into some of the clothing because I am definitely so excited. I feel like I have two different like styles going on. I have like the athleisure and then like the very fancy stuff. So we'll get into that. This is already sold. This is a Victoria's Secret uh, slip nightgown, shorter length, little kick here in the lace. So this did sell on eBay this morning, so I do need to get it shipped out. And this is pretty, I guess this is just like a basic piece, but I do like picking up American Rag at the bins because it seems to get some interest and it and it has actually since it's been listed gotten some interest it's not a high dollar seller but just a really basic kind of strapless smocked uh maxi and it was a size medium now we're gonna move into some of the pieces that i just was shocked to find i think it was like bin number four that i hit i'd already found a great amount of other stuff uh which is in another bag over here but I found one and I knew there was going to be more and that was the case. So St. John collection, this one's a size 10. It's a knit skirt. So it's the shorter skirt, more of like a pencil and it's gray, a dark kind of charcoal gray, just a beautiful piece. And I found a few more. So this is definitely this only set that I found. This is the top. Now, even though they're different sizes, they definitely go together. This is a size eight St. John collection. Uh, this jacket does have shoulder pads. It has a beautiful button closure here. So this is just such a great set. So excited for this. And now the other St. John pieces are not sets. And some of them do have a little bit of wear maybe. Uh, this piece is again St. John collection size eight, but there seems to be just like a little tiny spot right in here. And I think honestly, I can get that out pretty easily. It looks like it's surface. So I will do my best on that one. But what I love about this is this split zipper and this is just kind of open here. So a really beautiful kind of blazer coat again. Very excited about these. Now these pieces are a little bit heavier, but not that much. It's <laughs> still a great deal. So St. John evening, and this is a size eight as well. So definitely the same donor shoulder pads. It does zip up and then it has these little hook eye closures. 
so that shimmer great piece and probably one of my favorites well actually i love both of these pieces so right now i had seen i guess before quarantine i was noticing a lot of the knitwear um it was becoming kind of very popular so even though this is saint john um just a basic piece it is that long knitwear skirt and just a classic black and has the back slit so very nice piece but this next piece is my favorite because I just think it is so chic. And honestly, if you are just even any influencer right now, I'm seeing a lot of kind of like the style and kind of the chic kind of preppy styles is this style of um, kind of cardigan jacket. Uh, so just gorgeous. So uh, I think this piece will probably do really, really well just because it's of its overall style it does have shoulder pads it's a size six and yes this piece I'm just in love with so much so classic okay that's the end of the St. John I think you can see why I was so excited about this haul but I promise there's even more goods if you're willing to wait for it we'll get there there's just so much about this haul that I love so I showed you that first Victoria's Secret piece that I've already sold but here's another and it seems to be a theme with me lately. I've been finding a lot of kind of this lingerie style um, nightwear. And this, uh, this is the I Do label by Victoria's Secret, which I've never actually seen this before. It's a size large, so definitely bridal wear, adjustable straps, and just, it needs to be steamed, but just so dainty and gorgeous. And I think there's another one in here. So yes, it's a black, lacy, and I believe it is a size large as well. So probably the same donor as well. Side slits. Okay, moving into more of the athleisure, which I was really excited to actually find, even though as many of you probably know, I am not much into selling athletic wear, but due to current events, I do feel that people are probably shopping for more athleisure-like um, comfortable clothes, especially when it comes to bottoms. So if you are in a meeting and you need to wear a nice top, maybe you are lounging in some comfortable bottoms. And so I definitely found a lot of bottoms and I'm excited to try these out. So this first set is all Athleta and this pair of joggers is a size medium. So just gray joggers. And they appear to be in pretty good condition overall. So excited about those. Now the rest of these I believe are all extra smalls. And so Athleta just leggings. Maybe you're doing at home workouts. Maybe you're going back to the gym. These ones are sparkly. So these you could actually wear more as just actual leggings under a nice top or tunic or however you want to do it but they do have like a drawstring waist and they are an extra small and they're just pretty much seamless this is athletic athleta extra small and just a classic black leggings athleta uh i haven't tried to sell as much of it recently because i feel like it's kind of gone down in value or price over the past few years so i kind of stopped picking it up but at the bins and again doing due to current events Definitely was excited to find it. This is a, just a really, a brand actually I don't know if you know anything about it or have sold it, please let me know. But just a nice workout top. It is padded and it does say it's for 32AB to 34A. So basically a small, I would say, or extra small and it's in really good condition. So moving comfort. This piece uh, was funny because Carrie was actually like, don't you want this? I'd already touched it, but I thought it was just a pair of men's like worn out uh, cargo shorts. Um, nope. Look again, free people. I totally like overlooked it and that's what happens at the bins. You know, things get overlooked, but this is a free people jacket, like cargo utility style, very distressed, worn in look. So it has lots of kind of distressing and holes. Um, but it doesn't really appear to be like stained or anything. So that's good. And it was a size medium. There are a few free people pieces in here. Uh, I picked this up. It's a size extra large just because it is like kind of that 
boho art to wear. Sold something similar in the past. I think the last time I sold something similar, it was a more unique and interesting design. So I do need to look up to see how to describe that because I know many of you had left comments the last time I picked something up like this. So there's no actual brand. There are kind of several brands that make similar styles and this one doesn't have a brand, just an extra large tag. This piece is J. Crew. It's an older J. Crew label, and it is a small, but it is 100% merino wool, and it's this gorgeous green blue color, and it does have its original Goodwill tag on, so it did, did get passed up many times at the regular Goodwill, and then it was sent to the outlet. And I think this is like when you find pieces like this that actually have their Goodwill tags on them, I think it's an excellent example of just how much uh, doesn't sell at regular Goodwills. You know, there's this thing been going around lately about how resellers are taking from the poor, impoverished communities that are trying to, to buy at Goodwill. Well, this is a beautiful piece. It did not sell at Goodwill and it ended up at the bins. And if I didn't bring it home, it could have just ended up in a landfill. So that's kind of the reality. There's so, so, so much that goes into the bins of one single bins location. I am pretty sure gets more items than I've ever sold in my business um, in just one day. And that's kind of horrifying to think about as well. So, I mean, I have listed over 7,000 items and I bet I would, there is probably 7,000 items that go through a Goodwill bins location in one single day. I would really like to know more statistics on that, uh, which maybe in the future I will find that out, but you can just see the sheer amount, especially in a large bins location, how much, and it's just being rotated and people are just taking and bringing in more and it's, it's incredible. If you've never been to one and if you ever get a chance to go, just to go to see the sheer amount of, of stuff, like there's just stuff. There's not just clothing, there's home goods and, you know, furniture and just so much. Anyway, off my little um, soapbox here. Love this cardigan. <laughs> okay, this is New York and Company Little Romper. Uh, it is so cute. It is a cotton linen blend and I love picking up linen anytime I can. And so, yeah, extra small, just this beautiful navy. I think this would be a great even layering piece in the fall. You could do it with like a puff sleeve. You do a tights under it, that just, or a big boxy cardigan over it. However, so many different ways to style that. So more athleisure, this is a chaser, uh, zip up, a full zip up, extra large sweater. So that was a fun piece. And it really doesn't look to have been worn at all. There's like no pilling on it. So that's nice. This is a really basic We the Free, Free People top. Again, really good condition. Size small, so very, very oversized. This next piece, I need to try to stain treat. But it is new with tags. So that's kind of the bummer is I actually am just going to have to take the tags off and treat this because... I don't know if this actually happened at the bins or maybe it happened at the actual store. Maybe that's why it was, you know, never worn. It's because it could have fallen on the ground as it is white and gotten kind of some streaks on it. I'm sure they'll come out because it looks very surfacey. But this great pull or, or this great sweater here, uh, it is Adidas and it has this front zipper. So this should do really, really well. It is a us small but definitely oversized it's tagged a uk 10. this is just a beautiful beautiful piece very flowy oversized it's mona b which i feel like i've sold before but i am remembering nothing about it at the moment it is just a very light tie-dyed oversized flowy semi-cropped top i mean just look at those sleeves it definitely reminds me of a free people top however Obviously, it is not. So, go with it. This is a new tags top, treasure bound. It's a one size, so kind of a tunic y style kimono top. Be great over a swimsuit or just layered with some leggings. Thought there were side pockets, but nope. Another kind of casual. Piece, Peyton Jensen size large 
This also reminds me of something like We the Free would do. I've definitely seen pieces. Actually, I think there's a piece in this other bag that's very similar by Free People. Uh, there's split sides here. Very casual, athleisure-y piece. Okay, a couple more pieces in this bag and we'll move on to the other goods. So this is just a Gilly Hicks and it is a halter style bralette. There we go, really good condition. This piece I picked up, it's vintage, I believe. Yes, vintage cardigan, we got the shoulder pads here. It's a size one, which I'm sure is some sort of vanity sizing, but it is 100% silk, which is such a gem of a find. And yeah, that's gorgeous. I believe there's maybe some very faint, very faint spot somewhere on here, but overall, I think this is just a great look. This pair of trouser pants is like the ultimate find for me. So Carrie pointed these out and they're vintage, they're wool, and they fit me perfectly. I believe they are homemade. There's absolutely no tags and they just fit like a dream like whoever made these was my same waist legs length and everything so they fit me perfectly uh, there are a few flaws which i'll just fix so i can wear myself i think there's like a little mouth hole or something there that i'll just stitch up i don't mind and i think there's a stain somewhere so i'll just keep these for myself they're kind of a straight leg and again the, the fit on them is perfect they're gonna be so cute this fall and winter I'll probably have to layer tights under them though, just because they are that wool and they're not lined, so they're a bit scratchy. This I picked up in the same bin as the St. John, and I just picked it up because I had that similar look, but it's definitely uh, just a wool little cardigan vest with the beautiful beading. So maybe someone who's interested in the St. John pieces would be interested in something like this. But that was kind of one of those pieces I was like, eh, I probably didn't need that piece. This next set actually is Eileen Fisher. It is a set. Uh, it's tag. They're both tag sizes petite, but the top is a petite medium and the bottom is a petite large, which makes sense. So elastic waist here, very comfy piece. Great work from home. Definitely could style these as separates. So, but I am selling them as a set. Okay, now we're moving on to more of the athleisure and what I was immediately shocked to find. It was bin number two and it was heaping full and full of the goods. It was the bin where I found all of the Athleta pieces and within the Athleta, I also was finding the Lululemon. So I did pick up probably I think six pieces of Lululemon. A couple pieces are pretty worn, which we'll get into. I basically was just pulling everything out and throwing it into my cart because I knew that the, the horn was going to sound for me to move. So I was grabbing as much as I could. This is a size four Lululemon. They're striped leggings. Now this pair does have, I believe, a surface stains on one of the legs. Yep, I can see it there. So I need to wash these and try to get that out. If not, I'll still try to sell them Lulu there. They are more of a mid, I would say mid to low rise. So a little bit older because they're not the high rise, but still the stripe is fantastic. So very excited about those. This is one of my favorite pieces because it's reversible. So this is a size four. It does still have its rip tag and size four reversible Lululemon. Personally, I like this side the best. The other side is just the plain gray, but we have the purple striped um, on this side, the Lulu on, there's the Lulu symbol on both. Um, sides so that's really great love that piece we have I believe this is the swiftly top and it's the long sleeve it's a size 8 so what I love about these uh, run tops is that they have their size info down here on the hem so at one point it does say size 8 <laughs> and it just has that fun little inside hem so great piece kind of a purplish blue this is my probably, I guess, the favorite Lulu piece, although I really like that sweater. This is a pair of high rise, size four. Uh, they are the stirrup and herringbone. So this is such a fun find. These look like they do pretty well. And then there's the Lulu symbol right there. So great find. This is just an Under Armour run top. 
so I'll pick this up. Maybe people are running more outside. It is a size small turtleneck. This is a pair of just pretty basic Puma leggings. They're a size small, they're gray, and they have the back mesh panels. Spanx, so more more leggings. A pair of Spanx, size medium. They believe to, they are the seamless, but they do have a kind of a side stripe there. So more of a cropped length. And Kalia by Carrie Underwood, I believe that's how you say it. There is no size tag, but these, in my opinion, fit like a small. They're a gray kind of floral rose and more of a three or the seven eighth to probably full length, depending how tall you are. And they have some like ruched ankle detail. So that was a good find. John Galt, like all of this was in the same bin. I kid you not. And I was just like throwing it in. I didn't even like look to see what most of it was. So John Galt and there is no size tag, which I believe is just kind of a Brandy Melville type thing that they do. They believe one size fits all and it really doesn't, which makes no sense to me. But I would say these actually fit like a small medium. And so just kind of like a chambray style striped trouser uh, pant with elastic waist. But these I listed like literally last night and they've gotten so many likes and attention. This brand I actually did want to talk about a little bit because... This brand was interesting. I picked it up sheerly on the fact that it was 100% linen. I love picking up linen and I was really interested in this label but didn't have the time to do the research while there because like I said, things were moving and grooving really fast and I wanted to actually be looking for things and not spending my time researching. But once I got home, uh, this is a really basic piece. So of course it's a resale value. It's just like a tank, a basic tank with this little shoulder detail but this brand so feel the piece actually has some really interesting um styles like their dresses and stuff look like they have some really great resale value they do actually retail for quite a bit uh but as this is just a basic i might be getting like 15 to 20 hopefully for this but it's in really good condition but i was excited to learn that new label this columbia uh, top so it's actually a performance fishing gear top I didn't really look too closely at the label I just figured it was a small women's but it's actually a large 14 16 girls definitely could fit a small woman woman 100% um, so the measurements are on par for a small women's but it is a girl's top but outdoor active wear piece for sure this is a pink Victoria's Secret sports bra just real basic, small, and marmot fleece, base layer, size small, overall pretty good condition. Love the color on that. Here's another Lulu piece, but this one's got some wear, and I think I'll list this really, really low. So here, I forget the name of this piece, even though I know I've looked at it and found it before. They're the seamless uh, crop, but it has some like holes right there. Uh, that's the only spot I believe with the holes, so I might be able to just stitch that up and then photograph it and let people know. But they do seem to be like a bit stretched out, like they've had quite a bit of wear. So I probably won't list these for very much at all, just to just to move them on out the door. If they don't sell, I'll probably just take them to consignment or something. Just a very uh, flowy, fun dress. Love this color the stitching. This is just a wild fable dress from Target, but I really enjoyed kind of that sleeve detail. Thought maybe someone might be interested in this at some point. Just a mini. And this one is just She Plus Sky. Again, this is something really basic that is going to be sold at like your TJ Maxx. And it does come with its belt though, which I really love. And I do love a check. Again, this would be a great layering piece that you could wear into different seasons. It's a size medium. It feels like a cotton linen, but I didn't actually look at that. So it's just cotton poly. So it just has a nice feel to it. Okay, more of that free people. So it's in here somewhere. This is a free people piece. Okay, there we go. We the free and it's a size small definitely oversized but love this pink in the knot detail so definitely a comfortable piece 
and I know I'm just getting out of breath. There's just so much to show you. This is a moth sweater, extra small. This is in like perfect condition. Don't believe this was probably ever worn. Knotted waist there. Such a great, great sweater. And it feels incredible. I should have looked at the material content. So it's rayon, poly, and nylon. So very, very comfy. This is, I'm getting ready for winter, I guess. Hollister size medium with that kind of fair aisle um, design here at the bottom. It is an open like waterfall front. So no closure, but really love this. And again, really good condition all in the same bin. And we, here we have a small sweater by Free People. Again, love this piece. Very little wear, side zippers. It is like a longer tunic-y length, so you could definitely just wear this over leggings. Definitely a little bit oversized and kind of almost an ombre effect to it. So pale purple ivory color. It's a really basic piece by Splendid. Size small, but it's a very long, long top. Okay. This is something that Carrie threw my way. She did not want this. I don't know why, but it is a free people and this tag is coming undone. It's a size large blanket cardigan and it is so long. I feel like I'm just showing you the blanket literally, but there's pockets. It's oversized. It is a dream. So trying to see if there's material content tag for you. But let's see, acrylic, apaca, poly, nylon, and wool. So all the things, but it is very beautiful. Now this is, I think, the last Lulu piece, and this piece also has some wear. It's reversible, the black, and then striped, but the armpits have a little wear. I'm going to soak this and see if maybe some of that comes out. It does have the raw kind of edges, which... I believe is how it's supposed to be because the bottom hem and the sleeves are like that, but it does just, it has some wear. It is a larger size, I would dare say, but again, probably won't list this for much just based on kind of the wear. This is a Madewell tee, size large, just a green top. I might keep this one for myself. I love a good t-shirt. And with that, I also love a good blazer. So this is Ann Taylor, size four, just a beautiful little button front blazer, but it feels fantastic. So it's wool and cotton. It is lined, so that's nice. It'll be great for fall. I don't know. It's going to be so weird to see what fall brings as far as career wear. I have sold a decent amount of career wear, which is surprising. American rug, just a ivory lace little zip up. This piece I could just couldn't leave behind. This is so beautiful. Look at the back of this. Okay, so here's the label. I really don't know anything about this label. Maybe you do. It's a size four. But it was just overall style. And it's going to be a little hard to see, but it's kind of a popover with just very intricate detailing of floral embroidery. But it's that back, like sailor style back that just, oh, it's so cute. Anyway, I am hopeful about that. Another free people. So size large, we the free. Very classic, popular style in gray. This is one of my favorites and it's just, by this brand current air but it reminds me of uh like those pullover sweaters those boho -y. i don't even know what i'm saying anymore i've been talking for almost 40 minutes are you sick of me are you still here anyways this is such a long haul and my voice is getting tired but i love this piece hopefully i can wear this it's an extra small in a haul at some point and we have a lucky brand i love this again very flowy, striped, oh, very minimalist style. This is a like 90 style silk Liz Claiborne blouse. 
love this like blue gray color and hopefully there's no stains on this once I steam it. This is a brand I typically only pick up at the bins, Umji. I do like selling it, but it doesn't resell for much. So I really only pick it up at the bins. But again, this is a very minimalist style. Love this um, stripe with the butt in front. And then it does have a lace hem, which is just a beautiful little detail. Side pockets, roll tab sleeves, great over leggings. Again, a great top for working at home and having comfy bottoms on, but a nice top. Another, I think this is a Lucky Brand top as well. So yes, look at that button, so cute. Lucky Brand, size extra small, but it's an oversized extra small. It's kind of flowy, pink, boho, peasant style, longer length top. And a couple more pieces. So this is a new with tags. It's just a boutique -y brand, probably like an online boutique. Uh, it is a jumpsuit, size medium, in rust color. Love these style of jumpsuits. If it was my size, I'd probably keep it. It does have pockets, which is fantastic. And kind of a wider leg here. This would be so great. Again, layered look. You could do so much with cardigans, shirts under it, belt it. So many different looks with this. And I love that it's a button front, so it's a little bit easier to get on and off. And last piece. Carrie really thought that I could rock this. <laughs> and so I'm going to try. This is an American flag um, back here, as we see. But it is a button front, uh, just vintage top. And then it has its American flag right here. It says USA under it. So this is a fun piece. I think there might have been some light spots on it, but I do need to look it over. Um, as I had mentioned earlier, if you're interested in anything, just leave me a comment down below. I'd love to tag you in the listing. Um, or you can just go head over to my closet, check it out. I do have lots of items over there for sale. Always feel free to send me an offer. Um, I'm never offended. Anyway, thank you so much for being here as always. Um, and just have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much. Bye.